Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. I have to thank everybody for putting their comments in for my last video about what to do about the SX pickguard situation, either to mod or not to mod. So I want to go into some of the comments that I had. Uh, one of them is quite funny, but uh, yeah. Okay, so 74 Dartman says if it was him, uh, he would keep it as it is. Um, Zip says well, it looks like a US, Fender USA pickups. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Evil Clown, leave it the way it is. Uh, Hans, uh, as far as his vote, uh, this one was kind of funny. Uh, Hans says, as far as a vote, I think it would be interesting to know what Terry would do and then just do the opposite. Yeah. So that was, that was a good one. Um, Nick says he'd leave it. Uh, Blake seems pretty decent. Uh, he would leave it. Uh, Mr. B would say that uh, mod it. Um, Brian, uh, yeah, he said we'll leave it because it's already uh, an upgrade. So it's kind of like tossing the coin as far as that goes. Um, Robert Clark says that he would. Uh, I don't know, he says it would be hard to play upside down. But he says that he loves his player series loaded uh, guitar, so killer either way. George says uh, test both options, then decide, but of course show us the outcome. So that would be a little bit rough for me because as far as showing the outcome goes, um, playing it, I will never be able to do the pickups justice either way. Um... Vin says trust a plan, so that's kind of a, another plus for doing the mods. Uh, Joe says uh, he's torn, um, but he also says maybe build out the new pups and an Eric C. original pick guard and leave it up to the winner to choose between the two. Now, that was a good idea. That was a really good idea for Joe. Thank you for that one, and actually, I'm going to run with that idea. Uh, EJ's guitar says, dude, he says that's a good loaded pick guard. He says he would leave it. Um, let's see. Vincent says, hey, Eric, you should go ahead with your, uh, with the original plan. Save those parts for a different build or a mix and match. Have fun with it, which that's always cool, too. Um, DB Cisco says, uh, sounds like it would be easier just to get a blank pick guard and start from scratch. And uh, I said that would be too easy, and which it would be. Um, let's see, Dan Beck, he says, uh, along with Rosie, he has a fender. Uh, nothing wrong with, the, with trying to be a fender. So this would be uh, kind of like maybe another thing to leave it. And uh, yeah. So it'll be another vote. Randy says that he would leave it. <clears throat> and Weedy Guitar Studio says that, uh, uh, let's see, makes me glad to have a lefty. Uh, I would love a change on this. So that would kind of be, you know, another toss up either to do it or not to do it. So what I ended up doing is going with, uh, uh, let's see. I believe it was Dan Beck, which would be easier to go ahead and get another pick guard. And also with uh, Joe here, same thing. It would be easier just to build another pick guard and to make the or let the winner decide what he wanted. So the plan. Close this out. Open this up. So what I did is I ordered some parts here. So I've got uh, six pieces of 0 .022 UF guitar tone capacitors coming. And then I got six pieces of 0 .047. Now, these pickups here, I'm going back to the uh, Guitar Heads website. It says that uh, going close to the... Um, 0 0.050 UF for a uh, capacitor for your tone will give these guys their pickups, the which I mean the 
mini humbucker rails uh, a darker sound. And if you want to go with kind of like a little bit more of a brighter sound, you want to go with the 0 .020, um, which I really couldn't find too many of. I wanted to get like like quite a few of them, so not just buy one, but I wanted to have a few on hand. So I ended up getting six pieces of both of these here, the 22 and the 47s. So what I ended up doing too is I picked up a lefty in white, uh, 11 hole because that's what this is 11 hole standard Stratocaster pickguard. So that's why I ended up picking in because this is an 11 hole. Uh, that's why there were more holes in the body, which I ended up, I'll show that what I did with that later. And then I picked up uh, three of the CTS pots and got the mini ones. And these are 500 Ks. And then I ordered some of these uh, switches. I got three of these switches that are the mini toggle switches. Um, these are the three pin. Uh, I'm going to use the two pin on the new pick guard. So that's what I'll do is I'll leave it as a choice as far as who wants what when they win it. So I won't put any strings on the guitar, uh, but the guitar will have the pick guard that whoever wants on it when they win it. And that's when I'll do the setup and everything else on the guitar before it gets shipped out. That way everything would be installed. Um, as far as whatever pick guard I'm left over with, um, I guess I'll leave that up to the person who wins the guitar if they want the pickup or if they want me to do a giveaway uh, on the pick guard. Not pick up, but the pick guard that I have that's not installed on the guitar. All right, so this is the body right now as it stands. I've got two picks in all the holes to kind of fix the uh, strip threads that were in the wood. As I removed the screws, they just felt like they weren't really grabbing too much. So whoever drove these screws in probably used a hand drill or, or something like that, electric drill, to drive the screws in, uh, forcing them, and strip them out at the same time. So I'm going to fill these up like you see here and uh, yeah, and then kind of sand them down, you know, break off these pieces, sand them down so none's sticking up. And I'm going to fill the opening up with the wood, try to seal the wood with uh, some clear. That way, um, you know, the only thing that's going to be there is the hole that I drill for the pick guard itself. This is a, uh, the body was set up as an eight hole pick guard. The one that was put on here was 11 hole pick guard, so that's what I'm going to go with. And then over here, you see, you got some shit on the body. Well, that's crazy glue. I'm waiting for that to dry nice and hard. Scrape it down, sand it. Uh, that's where there was a small scratch. And there was a small scratch over here. That's going to be corrected. And then I got some on the back. I'm going to correct those too. So here's the pick guard. And uh, this is the pick guard that was taken off of this thing. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'll reshield, well, I'll shield the body itself, considering there is nothing, and then make it to where the shielding will touch part of the shielding that's on the pick guard itself. Um, I'm also going to, when I build the new pick guard, um, which is also going to be an 11 hole, should match up perfectly with this. So that when I, if I put one or the other on there, all the holes should match. There should be no problems. It should fit perfectly but yeah i'm going to clean this up you know clean the wires up get them straightened up and so they fit inside the body without having to like wedge it open and try to tuck some wires in so they're not touching and shit and this is the parts that i have for the other pick guard so you've seen the pickups got the new switches um i have a shaller five-way switch here which is a good switch and uh yeah, so I might be using this, or I might get the same exact switch that is already on here. It'll just make it easier to copy the wiring and stuff to make sure everything's good. So that's about it. I will leave this up to the winner of this guitar. Uh, if they want to go with the Fender pickguard, or if they want to go with the modded pickguard. And I guess leave it up to them to do whatever with the pickguard that they don't want on the guitar. So that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. You guys take it easy. This has been great. It's been fun. And uh, it's just about to get a little bit more interesting.